Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's July 31st, 2021, and today's video is going to be introducing you to a new piece of equipment that's become a member of our family. In the past, I've made videos about uh, some of our equipment that we've used to help to transform our property from it was all just a overgrown woodlot on top of, uh, you know, uh, poor gravel source, I would say. And gradually, over the years, beginning in 1976, we've been gradually transforming this piece of property bit by bit over the years. And in recent videos, I've talked about <clears throat> how I wanted to upgrade some of my equipment. And that we had equipment that we've ordered, and I'd be introducing some of it as it comes in. Because of the steel sh shortage, because of the, the pandemic, many um, manufacturing operations and dealerships and all have been having a hard time getting lots of the equipment in where it used to be, geez, in, in four to six weeks you'd be able to get a piece of equipment in, in no time at all. So it's been several months. I've been planning this for a few years. I let Thea know about it <laughs> several, several months ago that this was the agenda. So she'd have a few months to digest this. Uh, but um, a couple of months ago, I shared that we had uh, sold Optimus Prime. So Optimus Prime is our, was our large front end loader tractor, a 1974 or 76 Case or David Brown 995 tractor, two wheel drive. And that really was an amazing piece of equipment on our property that did lots and lots of work. Uh, just amazing. I, Optimus Prime has been, been amazing. Now, you'll notice that I've named these pieces of equipment because when, when I was really, after retiring, I elected to make sure that I named the pieces of equipment that we had because they were essential family members the way that I thought of them. I needed to take good care of them and uh, make and and give them due respect and 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 all and so since we're going through a transformational process on the property um, i named them after transformers so the case 995 which had been working really hard for many years uh, got the name of optimus prime then uh, and i won't go into some of the other smaller pieces of equipment that we have in their names but uh, then we got bumblebee uh, named after another um, uh, transformer in the movies and Bumblebee was a PC 27 MR-2 uh, Komatsu mini excavator and boy that piece of equipment was just amazing here as well and I really both of those pieces of equipment I, I miss tremendously and uh, so a couple of days the day before yesterday uh, the first piece of equipment was delivered and that's uh, Takuchi uh, uh, TB290. This is a, a larger excavator. It's still a compact excavator. And, uh, and, it's, and I decided, although I love Komatsus, like another um, transformer that we have is Hound. Uh, Hound is a, a Komatsu CK35-1 track loader. And I've got lots of different attachments that work on it, uh, that work with that piece of equipment. And Hound is also another transformer and featured in a lot of, in several videos last year where we put in the access road. And I have more roads to put in, more work to do all over the property. Um, but uh, I'm slightly getting off track here. So with the, uh, with the new excavator, which I'll throw a helmet cam on in a couple of minutes and we'll go out and take a look at it. I did some work yesterday, um, but, uh, and I will make a video probably about the reasons why I decided to go with Takuchi as opposed to continuing to go with Komatsu. And before I had talked about how much I rave about Komatsus, uh, I've had absolutely fantastic um, uh, experiences with both pieces of equipment, the Komatsus that I have. Uh, but there's reasons, and I'll make a video about why I elected to go with a uh, Takushi uh, excavator. And there will also be another uh, piece of equipment coming that's made by Takushi as well. And a couple of Kubota pieces of equipment as well. So uh, yesterday I did get 
the uh, the excavator out uh, because I was too busy the day that it got delivered. I had meetings and all, and everything's sort of a mess around here. We're just trying to take care of the gardens. I'm trying to do work in other locations, the nursery and all, and uh, so I'm going to spend a couple of days working with the with the excavator. This excavator is absolutely a, a amazing. It's uh, it's 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 one of the, the largest, I believe, compact excavators. So before you get into the big utility uh, range of excavators, and uh, and there's lots of things that I absolutely love about it: the visibility, the serviceability, the power. Uh, you know, um, those are just a few of the things that I like. You know, certainly the visibility being and the comfort inside of this piece of equipment. And then it has the multi-function ability as well. So it, it, I can have all different sorts of attachments on this. And I'll show you a couple of the attachments. So uh, I did opt, uh, now on the Bumblebee, the mini excavator that I had before, I did have a, a quick hitch on it, which allowed me to go from an excavating bucket to a, uh, a grading bucket. So a tooth bucket going to a, a flat blade bucket so I could do grading and doing work around around here and all it really entailed doing was getting off the excavator uh, taking a pin uh, removing one pin using that pin to uh, pull back a um, a spring loaded clip and that would release the bucket and then I'd reach over grab the other bucket it would self latch and then I'd put a, a retaining pin in it as well in this one I decided to go with a hydraulic quick coupler so I can stay in the cab and work it the other thing is that I got a little bit larger buckets for it, uh, for this piece of equipment. It can handle more weight. And I got uh, a tilting uh, grading bucket. Uh, there probably will be, I haven't told Thea this yet, but there probably will be a couple more attachments that I'll be getting for this uh, excavator in the future. Uh, I thought I'd mention this now as well. Um, as many of you are aware, I'm a big uh, Tesla fan and, uh, and, sta and, and technology enthusiast, and, uh, and I really want to get away from diesel, uh, petroleum-based uh, fueling systems here in the property. Unfortunately, these equipment manufacturers, the, the, their engineers aren't at the point and the materials and the availability of the battery electric uh, heavy equipment just isn't there yet. I anticipate it will be another 10 to 12 years, but I didn't want to wait any longer, so I went with diesel equipment. Um, the, the, the excavator here is a, a final tier four. Uh, system so it it has mechanisms to reduce the amount of soot and nitrous oxide and all and I can always make a video about that as well but um, you know I think this is going to work out it's more environmentally uh, uh, conscious than the the equipment that I've had in the past which were more pollutants uh, but uh, you know it's it's going to be a while before I do go with battery operated uh, heavy equipment. Uh, when they do become available, I will make some transitions at that point. Uh, so now, as I've mentioned, one thing that I, that I should say is that, you know, we've always uh, named our heavy pieces of equipment that are helping to transform our property and another piece of property that we're in the process of purchasing. We're going to be putting roadways in for and other work uh, as well on, on the properties. And uh, so these are tra still going to be transformers. So the other, a couple of weeks ago, I asked the, I said, you know, I said, I've been thinking about what's the next name of the, of the transformers. Now she's not a big fan of the transformer movie series as, as I am. When a new one comes out, I want to see it right away. But, um, you know, she, you know, I said, what's the most transformative character you can think of? And, and I already knew that I wanted to choose this name, uh, but she immediately said Elon, after Elon Musk, uh, the founder of SpaceX and uh, Tesla. And, um, you know, and Elon is, in my opinion, uh, is going to be known as one of the most transformative uh, entities that has, that it, it, at least in, in the, the next couple of decades, the decade that we're in now, 
the, the work that he's doing uh, is really going to change our world tremendously. And so the Elon is the name of the excavator that we're going to be uh, looking at. So it's a Takushi TB290 and uh, we'll throw the helmet cam on now and we'll go out and take a look at Elon. So here we go. Okay, I've, I've got to go down and back to see where uh, Elon is. Uh, right there's Hound, and that's next to the fueling station. And I'll tell you right now, that fueling, fueling station is A-plus in my estimation. That thing has been fantastic. Much less hassle than getting using funnels and standing on top of things to fuel up the, the tanks at all. Much nicer. So... Uh, Typically around here, and the, the buckets that I've had in the past were work brow, uh, WBs, you'd see the big insignia on the, on the sides of them. Uh, they're behind in their manufacturing uh, and keeping up with demand at this point, from what I understand. And the diesel uh, company makes these buckets. And, uh, and I think they're pretty darn well, based on what I see so far. Uh, really nice welds on them. I'm not sure about the center brace that they have in there, but that's probably essential. I, the reason that I don't care for central braces uh, is because they tend to be places where if the soil is moist, uh, it's a place where uh, m more material can cling to that and it's and you don't get as as full a bucket each time some will re re residual material will stay in the bucket each time you dump it out same thing in the corners that can happen when you get a high moisture content or you can see down here in the corners down here so yesterday uh, I went down and I did some work uh, moving a drainage swell and I use this and so this is a four book a four foot bucket and it happens to be a swivel butt bucket so this this bucket tilts in both directions uh, for work and it has two hydraulic uh, cylinders on it to do that so I just ran these through here to keep them off the uh, dirt usually I, I click them together uh, but I didn't this time so that's the one of the buckets that I purchased for uh, for the for Elon. So let's go back and have a look at Elon. So this is Elon uh, Takuchi TB290. Uh, I think it's one of the largest compact excavators. Uh, I'll go over in another video the full specs on this piece of equipment. Um, here's another one of the diesel buckets. This is a three-foot digging bucket right here. Uh, this is the hydraulic quick coupler that I talked about. Uh, so, and the the good thing about having the thumb on here is the, uh, the, the auxiliary hydraulics that come with standard with these machines now uh, allows me to have two pieces of equipment working uh, with hydraulic controls simultaneously without adding more on. So here's one, of the, one connection on this side, another connection on the other side for the tilting bucket. This one's the digging bucket right here. Uh, so what did I do with this piece of equipment yesterday? Well, I decided my swale used to be right down here, the drainage swale. So this is pond six right behind us here. Uh, we put this in uh, 12 year, uh, in 2012, sorry, eight years, nine years ago. And it's all sand. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's gravel, but it's a lot of sand in here. So this one is very porous. It leaks. It's going to be a vernal pool. I had, we had designed it so there'd be two ledges, just like uh, marginal zones for uh, the way that we have the rest of the, of the ponds on the property. But I'm going to use uh, Elon to go ahead and clean this out a bit more. I need this fill in other locations. This will be a vernal pool. In other words, 
the, it'll drain from pond uh, five up above, come down the drainage swale, fill this up. It'll stay full during the winter months, during the spring, uh, heavy rains and all this will fill up. But where uh, Elon is sitting right now, there's a 25 to 28 foot, <coughs> maybe even 30 foot wi uh, wide uh, spillway here. And that used to come right across, go through, the, through the, the, this access road right here, and used to come right down right here. And you can see I put fill in here, and I got real close to this tree, took out one root sitting right over there, uh, and decided to make the, uh, the drainage swale here wider and go right down into pond seven down there. There is a low spot. I've got a lot of rocks to pick up in here and some more work. But this is the area where our blueberry plants will end up getting planted. This is where the old hugelkultur systems were. And there's going to be fence, fencing around here. So today I've got to come down, remove the stone bags <coughs> and the lumber, and uh, package up and patch some of the spots. There's holes in, in this where some critters have been digging through and the deer have uh, poked holes in it. And uh, get these stored, get all the materials here stored. And that way I'll be able to get up closer to the uh, pond six and dig this out today. <coughs> So I've got my work cut out for me today. So what are some of the things that I love about this? Well, I, I won't go into all the details. Uh, oh, I should mention, I purchased it from Anderson Equipment. I think they gave me a great deal on this piece of equipment. Uh, <clears throat> I think these are 17 and a half or 17.7 inch wide tracks, rubber tracks, continuous rubber tracks. Uh, really nice uh, blade on it uh, for working, really helped out down here as well working with this blade. Uh, the cab is super comfortable. It's uh, pretty impressive <laughs> how nice this is. Uh, there's so much glass that I can see around here. It's much larger than Bumblebee. It has uh, rear view mirrors, there's three rear view mirrors right here. There's one over in the side there. This does have some tail swing. So as a, the, the counterweights actually wrap right around on this excavator, but the tail swing, it will hang over the width of the track some. So I've got to get used to this uh, working in close confines. I haven't turned on the lights at nighttime yet, but they're every place. They're all the way around on it. Really nice. I believe these ones are halogen lights on this piece of equipment. You can see the lights up there as well. Uh, lights, horns, but lots of controls in here. There's a stereo system, a six-way adjustable seat, air conditioning, heating, uh, Bluetooth, MP3, uh, I think five and a half or 5.7 inch uh, digital display with a backup camera on it as well. Uh, lots of controls for adjusting different pieces of equipment on the stick out there so that uh, if I wanted to get a um, you know a, a mulch head on it or a hammer or whatever I want to have grapple everything can be controlled and set through the uh, through the system in here cup holders uh, plenty of room in here fully adjustable seat uh, I'm pretty excited about this this is my camera mount that I put there yesterday uh, and but my voice is completely muffled with that camera system there so I've got to figure out how I'm going to deal with it this is the uh, the quick coupler uh, attachment knob right there and uh, so this is all awesome that it's a larger more comfortable more modern more multifunctional I really like those features of it as well I like the wider tracks I like that it's bigger and more powerful than Bumblebee I loved the point that I could get into places that I can't get into with Bumble with this piece of equipment Bumblebee was awesome for that uh, here's one of the things here's the rear view camera here the serviceability of this piece of equipment really quick and easy to get to get at the end and this is another beautiful Yanmar engine here 
uh, you know, dipstick down here for the oil, uh, the oil filling over here. Everything is just so much easier to get to than with the, uh, if I want to just hit this to go ahead and de fuel up right here from ground level, don't have to climb up on anything. The whole hydraulic system right here. Everything's the def, the, the uh, windshield washer fluid and all. Easy to get at the battery down in here. Everything about this is so nice. The steps to get up on it as well when working. The Zerks, the, the grease fittings all over are easily accessible, really nice and handy. Uh, you know, the cab, I think that the cab is one of the largest cabs for an excavator of this size. The visibility is fantastic, the comfort, the multifunctional, and then the serviceability. This was probably one of the main reasons I fell in love with, with, with Takuchi, is the ability to get in here and quickly and easily be able to perform service on the equipment, to do our daily checks, to, to do everything that needs to be done. So. This piece of equipment is uh, pretty impressive. I still love Komatsu. I think they're fantastic. But the Takuchi for right now, for this phase of my life, where I do enjoy working on pieces of equipment, but I don't want to work at working on them, if that makes sense. I just wanted to be able to get the job done, get it done quickly, and then get out there and get to work. It rides pretty pretty comfortable. Uh, it has lots of power to to do the work that we've done. I've only operated it just a couple of hours so far to do this, and then to work down and back where I had all the grapevines and brush and all that I was clearing from in the forest uh, previously. I had to knock down a big wall uh, of all the material I, I uh, put on, so I put the excavating bucket on uh, to do that. So I will be, I've got to figure out how to uh, mount cameras inside of here so that you can see the pieces of equipment and, pe and if people have questions about, you know, the operation of this and, and I'll, I'll do videos on the service of it as well as time goes on. But I, I fell in love with Elon. So Elon's going to help us now transform our homestead and make the, the go into the next phase of our life uh, right now I'm going to do some simple things like uh, digging out more of this pond six to get that taken care of we'll use that soil to build up the area that I knocked down down and back uh, and we'll just take it step by step so folks this is Elon a new transformer for the property and I'm super excited. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. If you found this video of value, please give us a thumbs up. If you have questions about the machine, uh, feel free to ask them. I'm, I'm excited about this and I'll share as much as I can about it. And I will be making a video about why, I mean, all the things I talked about, the serviceability, the comfort, the visibility, um, did, I, did I say serviceability? <laughs> uh, the power, and the multifunctional aspects of it were all icing on the cake and and really really important uh, but the history of this company uh, is really what made me do a lot more research and help me to tip uh, to persuade me to go this route ultimately so folks take care stay safe and uh, there'll be some videos coming up with this piece of equipment Elon and uh, things we're doing around here. Thanks so much for watching, folks, and have a super fantastic and safe day. Bye-bye now.